So the Faye Jones School sets you up for success outside of the classroom by helping you to develop hard skills and soft skills. Uh, we use presentation and time in the gallery to develop our confidence in a way to work with stakeholders. Uh, they also allow you to collaborate with experts in the field. I've worked with engineers, interior designers, as well as the opportunity to kind of be uh, a part of the outreach part of the school. So just even moments like this, an opportunity to talk to a future designer or someone that's been in the community for a while. Um, so here at the Faye Jones, it's really unique because we do each have our own desks, which is something that not every student here at the University of Arkansas gets to experience. Um, so you kind of have your own little personal space. You can decorate however you want, keep as messy as you want. Uh, it's also a fantastic place to meet people. Um, you're all, you all have the same assignments and you're suffering through the same uh, the same uh, deadlines as everyone else, so um, you make fast friends in, in those kinds of situations. I'm Teresa Parrish and I'm the first year academic counselor at the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design. I'm part of the student success team here at the school. I work exclusively with first year students to keep them on track and get them off to a solid start. The Faye Jones School is a unique educational experience here on the campus at U of A for many reasons. Um, we offer three bachelor's degrees that are professional degrees. And so that means after you complete them that you are able to sit for a license in your state. So to get to that point, uh, the programs are much more rigorous and demanding than a typical bachelor's degree. For all students entering the Faye Jones School, all you have to do on your uh, admission paperwork with the U of A is check your desired major. And if you're admitted to the university, you are admitted to our program. The, the ACT and GPA requirements come into play in studio seating. We have a great problem here in that we have many more entering students than we have seats for in our first year studio. So we have to find a way to assign those seats. For architecture, uh, students will be invited to the fall studio sequence if they have a grade point average of 3.5 or better, a ACT composite of 25 or higher, have taken physics in high school, have taken upper level math in high school, such as calculus or trigonometry, and have been admitted to the university and to our program by November 15th of the year prior to entry. For interior design students, all of those things apply except for the physics and math. Uh, interior design only requires college algebra, so uh, the math and physics is not a, a condition for a fall studio seat. And so far, we have not had a problem with our landscape architecture seating, so all um, admitted landscape architecture students will start in the fall. Students who don't get to start in the fall for their design sequence will take a 10-week intensive summer course after their first year here. And that involves 10 weeks of design studio and design thinking um, nine to five every day. But once that's completed, they're completely caught up and will go directly into second year that following fall. Take control and responsibility for your education. Read the emails that are sent to you. Understand your educational program and the requirements. Don't count on somebody else to lead you through it um, I'm here for first year students as an advisor. I'm, I'm not here as the one who's ultimately responsible. The student is responsible. Uh, one of the things that seems to trip up a lot of first year students is they don't understand the importance of attending class. And that sounds ridiculous, but uh, it's true. Students just assume that they can miss class as long as they do well on tests and things like that, and that's not true. Just go to your classes. Um, and the final thing I would say, even though I have many more things I could say, would be um, to understand that the shift from high school to college is a significant one. You're going to have to do homework. You're going to have to work harder than you ever did. Don't um, think that you can basically come here and do no homework and still get A's. That is not going to be a plan for you. 
know that you're going to have to work very, very hard, but from what I can tell from our graduating students, it's all worth it in the end. We strongly advise our uh, prospective students to visit us here at the university, and that can be arranged one of two ways. Students can sign up with admissions through the U of A and tour the whole campus and uh, ask for an appointment to stop here for an hour or so during that day. Or they can contact our recruitment manager, Rachel Fletcher, at rfletcher, that's F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R, at uark.edu, and Rachel will arrange for a private meeting here at the Faye Jones School and hopefully even um, make an appointment with you to visit with department heads and make sure that all of your questions are answered and you're up to speed. Hi, my name is Grant Wilson. Uh, I'm a third year architecture student here and we're going to be answering some questions that you guys sent in uh, about becoming a student, what it's like to be a student. Hi, my name is Kirsten Ralston. I'm a fifth year architecture student at Faye Jones School and today I'm going to act as a moderator asking these seven individuals questions about their experiences here. Why did you choose your major? I chose my major because uh, my senior year I took an art class and I just was encouraged to keep a sketchbook and I just kept sketching every day and then eventually my teacher told me that her brother was an architect and I should look into it and so I did and I, it seemed like a promising field. Um, I grew up always drawing. I had a big Minecraft phase in middle school, so I knew I like had a knack for creation and space. Um, when I got to Faye Jones, I started as architecture, and I made some friends in the upper years who showed me landscape architecture, and I kind of fell in love with the differences between that and the other design majors, just in terms of like color and texture. There's a lot of room for looseness and exploration in landscape architecture, so that's how I ended up where I am. I, growing up, was always the art girl. I took every art class I could get my hands on growing up. Um, and I always thought I was going to go to college for art. And then I toured Faye Jones as the only design college and sort of fell in love with the idea of being creative, but also being able to um, make an impact on people's lives. So I stayed with interior design and I finished through. I thought I was going to be uh, an engineering student for most of my life. I was really into mechanical engineering, kind of interested in civil. and. Once I kind of looked into it more, I realized it was a lot more technical than kind of I wanted to get into. I liked the design part of it a lot more. And, you know, I always took art classes, so I had an interest in that. And architecture is a really good marriage for me of, you know, like opportunities to be creative, but also there's a technical aspect that's really interesting, too. And I had initially majored in kinesiology my freshman year. And so I always had a passion for designing and drawing when I was young, and I knew after my first year here at the University of Arkansas, I changed my major to architecture. Growing up, I was always doing art, taking art classes, doing anything creative that I could get my hands on. Um, but I also always knew that I wanted to do a profession that could help people. So I started out in architecture, but um, recently switched over to the interior design program. They're very intertwined and they give me a, an opportunity to be creative um, while also making an impact on the world around me and making the world a better place. What do you like most about studying at Faye Jones School? So I think my favorite thing about the Faye Jones School is the emphasis on um, doing um, studio field trips. Um, I think that travel is so important into how you understand and interact with design. And whenever you get to go on a field trip to a city that you might have been to before with your family or something, but then you look at it through the eyes of a designer, it's a totally different experience. And I think that it's really cool that the Faye Jones School gives us the opportunity to get to travel as a studio. I would say my favorite part of school here is it's just like a totally different way of thinking. There aren't really any other disciplines that try to tackle the world like design does. It's like a it's like a hybrid of pragmatism and creativity and expression and like really strong logic. And I think those combinations of ideas result in a really like rich and deep understanding of the world around us and when we do it properly ourselves. How would you describe your overall experience majoring in architecture? If I had one word, I would definitely say it's stressful, of course, um, knowing it's going to be a 
hard career, but at the end of the day or at the end of the week, I think it's all worth it once you get everything done and you have that goal set in your mind and you have the motivation and drive it's completely worth it even if you're still an undergrad I think um, looking back I I don't have one regret at all so how would you describe your overall experience as a landscape architecture major I would say my overall experience has been interesting <laughs> I mean it's so hard to distill like the last five years or I guess four years have been a roller coaster and every year and then every semester and every week presents its own challenges but learning to adapt I think a lot of what landscape architecture about is about is is adaptability um, we get a really weird combination of problems thrown at us and have to think of a really intentional and purposeful solution um, that kind of tries to address all of these different factors at once. And that's taught me a lot about not only how to address problems of design, but problems in my life. It kind of changed my perspective on how I tackle what might seem to be um, challenges that I can't get past. Can you describe your overall experience as an interior design major? What is it like? Being an interior design major, it's been really self-reflexive in a lot of ways for me. And I think that is because interior design at like the core of itself is more directly focused on the people and the impact it's having on the people. Um, what are the individuals using your space feeling, seeing, what is the atmosphere of that? And while a lot of design, we want to argue we're being really selfless and not selfish in the way that we're doing things, design is also really personal and you're putting a lot of yourself in everything that you're creating. So I would say over the last four years, four and a half years, I guess I've learned more about myself as an individual and the things that make me happy and what I find fulfilling just because you put so much time and effort reflecting those things into your work. So a lot of self growth. Um, can you speak a little bit about some more specific experiences you've had in Faye Jones School that you'll carry with you for the rest of your des design career? Um, my favorite memories is, um, I always have them every semester, is getting my models done and showing them to my parents. Um, I'm a first uh, college, I'm a first generation of college student. So every time I got something done, um, my parents would be so proud of me. Or even last semester especially, I had just gotten done with my reviews and I didn't take a picture of myself with my plots. And my dad was like, pin it up and send, send a picture to me like right away. And I'm like, okay, dad, I'll do it, you know. Um, I think that's just one of the most rewarding things is at the end of the finals is them, them seeing so happy that you got everything done, that you're not stressed out so much anymore. Um, but I think that's always going to be one of those favorite memories I have at the end of the day. I'm going to talk about all the between memories of the design related things. For instance, Faye Jones has the world record for the longest barbecue sandwich <laughs> and once a year we kind of relish in the fact that we all eat this massive barbecue sandwich as a school together and the same with you know we have Halloween parties we have sometimes holiday parties we every studio semester there's late night chicken tenders that get brought to the school and at like 10 p.m you all kind of crawl out of the studio and everyone eats some chicken tenders so they can go back to keep working for the rest of the night it's like the little things like that that kind of fill in the holes between the stressful moments because there's such a great support system here going on 24 7. i mean it's hard because all of first year feels like it took place on a different planet or something because there's like this weird magic to it that you're working a ridiculous amount of hours per day and nothing really makes sense but you're having the time of your life like Sloan and I had first year together and it was like like chugging coffee at three o'clock in the morning going to McDonald's and eating so much horrible fast food like there's something about it's like just liberating coming your first year of college and and being honestly so unhinged the entire time <laughs> so uh, I would say the chaos of all of first year was a memory that I will certainly never ever ever forget <laughs> I'd say Every single time I pull an all-nighter here, it's always a memory. Like, I always remember every all-nighter I pull, and it's just, 
such a chaotic night, so stressful, so many things going on. And then at the end of it, you have this finished model, everything's ready to present, and so it's really, it's a great feeling. What kind of scholarships do we have the opportunity to look forward to at Faye Jones School? When you're coming in your freshman year, I would say apply for university-wide scholarships, apply for, if you're gonna be in the Honors College starting out, apply for Honors College scholarships, um, and also if your parents happen to go here, you can apply for scholarships from the Alumni Association, um, but then also look at um, different, if you were in different clubs in high school, some of those offer scholarships, um, like Beta Club or Key Club or those kind of things, if you were in those. Um, definitely be creative in where you go and look for things. Um, but the Faye Jones School specifically has tons of scholarships that you can apply for that are design-wide or major-specific. So just be on the lookout. Go on the website, the University of Arkansas website, and then specifically the Faye Jones website. And the application process is pretty easy and self-explanatory. To that point, also, Carly kind of hit on it. Look outside. I mean, the school has great scholarships, but there's tons of organizations that are looking to give you money to come to school. So go for it. Um, I know when I was coming to school, I would just Google, you know, scholarships for architecture or scholarships or whatever. I <laughs> I applied. There's um, there's so many crazy ones. I applied for the Tall Club Scholarship. There's Tall Club International, and because I was over six two, I got uh, like five hundred bucks for some scholarship. So it, it's crazy. There's so many like really niche things that you can look for if you it's out there if you look for it. So one thing also that's important to remember when you're applying for scholarships is like do the best you can, apply for as many as you can like as possible. But sometimes because there are just so many freshmen that are coming in in the same situation as you. Don't get discouraged if you don't get as many scholarships as you anticipated at the start. Keep in mind that like, especially in Faye Jones School, like when you first come, they don't know very much about you, but as, like, as you progress through your design career, like they'll start to see your work ethic and like the kind of designer you're becoming and they'll you know, start to reward you for your merit. And it's that way with every scholarship application. Like there are some scholarships that you can start getting like your fourth or fifth year of school. So just don't get discouraged if you don't get as much money as you anticipated at the beginning, because there's always opportunity later on. Can an incoming student for Faye Jones School anticipate being able to do other activities while they're going to college here? It's definitely possible, uh, depending on how you work, but I think it's really important that you stay involved in things that are outside of the school. Because, I mean, for me, it's so easy to just get lost and stay here for hours which is great, like I, I love that part of it, but it, uh, getting outside of the school, uh, I'm involved with, I'm in a couple clubs, uh, Greek life, uh, intramural sports I think are really fun, um, but just kind of expanding your life outside of design actually really informs your, your design because you know, you're gonna learn things about yourself and about other people that you can kind of bring back in here and, and put back into things, but uh, and then just also like kind of for your resume, thinking about that, it's important to show that you're, you're involved with other things. There's so many opportunities to explore your other interests here. Uh, I'm really interested in entrepreneurship and I'm part of a program here that, that does that, which is completely, it's completely vo like devoid of what we're working on here at school, but I think it's important for my career. And there might be things that you enjoy that are outside of that. Uh, but you, you, you definitely have time if you, if you manage your time well. What are some of your thoughts or experiences in relation to study abroad with Faye Jones? Well, you have a lot of options, which are great. Um, and it's something that is required of every discipline. So you know, regardless of which one you choose or which one you switch to, you will get to go abroad at some point. Um, I had the opportunity to do both the Mexico City study abroad during the summer as well as spending a semester abroad in Rome. So know that you can make multiple of those things happen. You can do it over several summers. Um, the opportunities are endless. You just kind of have to plan for it. Um, and like the experience itself is life altering. I mean, you don't you don't like get dropped in another country and not grow massively from it. I was only in, I did five weeks in Rome and then thanks to some funding from my wonderful benefactors in the Honors College, um, I did another week and a half kind of traveling around Europe doing thesis research. Um, and when I came back to the States, I 
felt like a completely different person. It just like completely changes your worldview and definitely puts a lot more faith. It put it helped me have a lot more faith in like my abilities um, and teaches you to adapt and persevere and just like be brave. Okay, that's it for our panel today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have more specific questions or want more information about applying, you can go to fayjones.uark.edu. Um, but I'd also encourage you to come and visit. Uh, we do tours here. Uh, it was, it's a really impactful experience, so thanks again. Welcome to Studio Culture. Welcome to the transformative world of design. Welcome to Thinking Through Design. Welcome to a community of designers. Welcome to Problem Solving. Welcome to having a voice through design. Welcome to the Fay Jones School of Architecture and Design. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs>